So I really love Duende. It's um, ever since I heard about it, I don't know when I heard about it, a long time ago. My friend Jerry and I were talking maybe high school. Um, it really rang true to me, and I feel like it, it um, is sort of part of my writing, this idea of the body and the flesh and utterances being part of art as much as anything that's from above and descending upon you, which is what Lorca originally in 1933 when he gave his famous lecture called Theory and Play of the Duende um, was sort of fighting against it, this idea that in Western literature you had this muse or angel who would come down um, and inspire you and that it was coming from somewhere else and he was like actually no it's coming from you it's coming from your body it's coming from you know things that are living things that are dying things that are fighting and having sex and getting angry um, so I took Lorca's essay and I translated it it's like a five to six page Spanish prose piece and I made it into a poem um, and sort of made it into my own thing it's kind of like a mashup um, Translation of Lorca. Is there like a weird feedback? Is it? Oh, is it just me here again? Yeah. Um, it's a pin. My two pillows or something. of Lorca's theory and play of the Duende. Ladies and gentlemen, in these lectures I am so bored. I am covered in fine ash on the verge of a peppery sneeze. My voice has neither gleams nor angles or sheep that suddenly become knives of irony, but I want to see if I can give you a simple lesson. Descartes, diminutive green almond, tired of lines and circles, went canal bound, listening to songs of drunken sailors. And Socrates, whom a melancholy demon scratched at indignantly, hemlock. Nietzsche, Cezanne, in their perfection towers, didn't struggle with the muse. The muse can't do much. So distant, so tired, her heart half marble. The muse makes the poet forget he might be eaten suddenly by ants. Or a huge lobster might fall on his head. Muses inhabit monocles, lukewarm lacquer in tiny salons. Give the muse a kick. Forget Violet's 18th century poetry breathes out, that telescope in whose lenses the muse sickly limited sleeps. Duende. True struggle. Burns blood like powdered glass. Exhausts, rejects, styles. All sweet geometry we understand. Makes Goya paint with knees and fists, stark naked in the cold of the Pyrenees, the eyes of a dead fish on the street, in terrible bitumen blacks. Flamenco. Woman, voice of shadows, voice of beaten tin, mossy voice. She tangles it in her hair, <clears throat> abandons it to dark briars, tears down the song through furious burning duende, voice, breath, color, duende. Young, beautiful girls with liquid waists can't raise arms, throw back head, stamp foot like her with her morbid duende. <clears throat> It sweeps the earth with rusty knife wings. In the art that lives and dies is duende. Music, dance, spoken poetry, duende in the flesh. Spain. <clears throat> Every country is capable but Spain. Stirred by the duende. Country of death. Country open to death. In every other country, death a closing curtain, not Spain. Death is curtain, curtain opening to sun. Duende squeezing out lemons at dawn. A dead man in Spain, his profile a razor, ultimate metallic value of the hut, the wheel of a cart, the razor, the prickled beards of shepherds, the barren moon, the flies, damp cupboards, rubble, the lace-covered saints. In Spain, tiny weeds, perceptible only to alert spirits, fill memories with stale air. Where art is rooted in soil, thistles and sharp stones, moon-frozen El Greco heads, butter and lightning yellows, Goya all polychrome sculpture. When the muse sees death, she closes, builds a plinth, writes an epitaph, with waxy hands, binds precise flowers. 
When the angel sees death, with tears of ice, he weaves elegies of Keats, and how it horrifies the angel to see a spider on his tend tender rose-pink foot. Duende won't appear if she can't see death. She shakes our consolation branches, his idea, sound, and gestures struggling together on a precipice. Neither in Spanish dance nor the bullfight does anyone enjoy himself. In them, Duende creates suffering in a drama of living forms, an escape from pale reality that surrounds. Duende wounds, and in trying to heal the wounds that never heal, lies in the strangeness, the inventiveness of trying. With Duende, it is easier to love, and to be certain you're loved and understood. The struggle for this, and the communication of it, in art needs Duende's fatal character. I see ardor, where geometry meets dream. Duende loves that edge, draws in toward places where forms reach somewhere beyond the visible. Duende on a dancer's body, wind on sand. It changes a girl by some magic power into lunar paralytic, makes the cheeks of a broken old man adolescent blushes makes a woman hair's, woman's hair smell of midnight seaport. Can't believe I messed up that line. Love that line. <laughs> midnight seaport. Impossible to ever repeat itself. Waves of the sea in a storm. The point from which flow the dark sounds, the ultimate matter, the uncontrollable mutual depth of wood, sound, canvas, word. Ladies and gentlemen, Duende. Announcing the endless baptism of freshly created things with the odor of a child's saliva and crushed glass, searching for new landscapes and unknown accents. Thanks, Orca. I'm going to read one more poem. Um, my friend Jerry's here. She likes this poem. So I'll read this for you, Jerry, even though it's not for you, really. Um, Careful what you wish for. The other day, I think I said something in my own voice, don't let go of me or something. It slipped. <clears throat> and today, what I thought was invitation became agreement not to invite. It confounds me again, like how you say you're bending down to pick me up means dropping me. I go. Where there are such mineral-rich waters, they churn up from the ground, crystallize pipe interiors. I'm in a bathtub of ash and bubbles, next to all these bodies unclothed. We have cups of cold water and bent straws. We have cucumbers. We are sinking. Everyone is answering but you. They have 57 profile pictures. They're crowding up my news feed. Oakland was hot, and Highway 1 was hot, and my skin made a salt smell. My skin showed like, shone like wet ash. The temperature only got unbearable in the 11th minute, when I had to get out. Just needed someone like me. I'd gone away saying double negative to everything. Still ended up where you were, hand uncurled. I'd lost a pinhead's worth of blood from my inner thigh, and searched for the non-existent bullseye, northeastern disease entering my vein-like earth. I scrubbed my body until I felt desk chair, recycled air. Laid awake all night, dreamt you loved Rebecca, because I left myself at the office, because I was too late. In the morning, I saw a nest of swallows in the eve, flying in, taking turns, feeding, preening. Sorry, it's a dark love poem, but it's Duende. <laughs> <laughs>